Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to today's Pilates session. Um, so yeah, let's start with Pilates. Do a nice roll down. If you have a nice um, elastic theraband, you can just grab that for me. Or if you don't have a band, just use your wets. Okay, so you're gonna stand into the band for me. Feet hip distance apart. And you can tighten this as much as you want. We're going to breathe in to lengthen and exhale to lower the chin, soften the knees, and just roll it down. Relax the body. Breathe in and exhale. Squeeze the back, recruit the abdominals, and roll it up. Lift up and slow down. Nice deep shoulder rolls. Two, three. Four, five, other direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Lift up and slide down. Lift up and slide down. Keep that lower rib into the body. Last one. Okay, now let go. We'll do a spinal rotation. Heels in line with the back cheeks. And hands stretch out in front. So you've got your rib cage lifted. Inhale to lift and reach the hands behind the neck to support and rotate towards the back. Recruit the abdominals. Lengthen through that fingertips as you come forward. Inhale to lift and reach and exhale to rotate. Recruit that abdominal, squeeze the knees, and bring it forward. Bring the knee down, come to the edge of the mat, grab the bottom foot, pull the knee back. Put the head down, keep this knee down on the front, and then roll the shoulder back. You can put the cushion, put the head on a cushion, or you can just put it on the floor. Breathe. And release. Okay. Lay onto your back. Just keep the hips absolutely stable as if they're in cement. Open the left knee, slide the leg, roll the toe in and drag it back. Reverse, roll the toe out and bring it back into place. Open the knee, slide the leg, roll the toe in, bring it back. Reverse, slide the foot away, turn the toe out and bring it Bring it back into place. One more on each side. So firmly press the foot into the floor of the foot that's not moving. That's it. Okay. Now we just do spinal rotation up to the other side. Heels in line with the bum cheeks, rib cage lifted, and stretched out in front of you. Knees squeezed on top of one another, support the neck, and rotate towards the back. So you can only rotate as far back as the knees stay down. Lengthen up and bring your neck forward. Inhale to lift and reach. And exhale to rotate towards the back. Inhale, hold. And exhale, stay. Inhale, hold. And exhale to lengthen up through that fingertips and bring it all the way to the front. Now, put the top knee on the edge of the mat. Grab the bottom foot with the top hand. Pull the knee back. Bottom hand, press down onto the knee in front. And then you put your head down and roll your shoulders back. Just gently release. 
Okay, from there, lay onto your back feet and you're gonna grab your band and just put the band over, over the thighs, like so, inhale, and exhale to imprint the spine, roll that hips up, send that kneecaps away, keep the arms down, inhale, hold, and exhale to roll, top back, mid back, lower back, and release the tailbones, inhale, and exhale to imprint and roll it up, send the kneecaps away, squeeze back, Inhale and exhale to roll it down. One good breath. Release tailbone. Inhale and exhale to imprint and roll it up. Send that kneecaps away. Inhale, hold and exhale. Inhale and exhale to roll it up. <coughs> Inhale to hold and exhale to bring it back down. Two more. Imprint, roll up, send that kneecaps away. Keep the knees in alignment with the hips. Don't let them flare and work through that spine all the way down. Inhale, so you want to give the spine a nice stretch. Get the mobility going in that spine again. Shoulders out of the ears and knees. So from there, we bring the arms up. You can have little weights in your hands as well. You can bring the arms down and then circle them up. And exhale down and inhale to circle up. Bring them up, imprint the spine, lift the knees to tabletop, bring it down and circle it. Bring it back up to the ceiling, lift your chest, circle down and lift. Circle down and lift. Two more. Last one. Bring that. And bring the head down, bring the feet down, and circle down five. Squeeze the knees. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the arms and bring the arms down. Okay, from here, the hundred. So you're going to have bent knees like this. You're going to bring the band over. Um, just like so, you're going to flex forward. You can actually, you know, do this as well if you wanted to lengthen your legs. So under armpit muscles engage, shoulder blades want to give it down the back. You can inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. 32, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. 42. Five and exhale two, three, four, five. Fifty-two, three, four, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Sixty-two, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Seventy-two, four, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Eighty-two, four, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Last two, four, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Bend with the head on and with the feet down. Okay. So this next week. And then roll we'll onto your front and forward kneeling or cat stretch. Inhale and exhale to push the spine up to the ceiling, top of the head down. Inhale and exhale to bring it into neutral. Lift the eyeline arch to back. And bring it back to center. Then push up. Bring it back to center. Lift the arm up, arch the back, and then push all the way up, lean the bum back, lean into the one side, um, past the um, heel, bring it back to center and just scoot off that other side of the leg and bring it back. And then stretch up, so the hips is above the knees and then bring it back into a straight back. Then lift the arm on, arch the back, 
tuck the toes, push the bum up, drop the one heel, drop the other heel. Up onto the toes, bend the knees and bring it back down. Okay. Now, hip flexor. So tuck the tailbone, push the hip to the front, lift the arm up and flex over towards the bend knee. Bring that hand down. Just put that foot on the outside of your mat and just press the knee away. Open up that hip. Bring it back, hands next to the feet, and then lean your bum back towards your heel. Foot stays down, big toe, small toe, heel. Shoulder blades slide together, down the back, lift the sit bones up to the ceiling. Release. Bring it back. All right. Change over the legs, tuck the tailbone, push the hips to the front, lift the arm up and flex it over towards the bent knee. Bring the hand down onto the floor, put the foot up to the side, and then just press the knee away. So it looks like this from the front. So you bring the foot quite wide and then you press that knee away. Just to open up into that. And then bring it back, kind of enlarged with the hip. Bring the hands down next to the foot and then you lean back towards your heel. So it looks like this. So big toe, small toe, heel is in a neutral foot. And press the fingertips down as if you're glued and you need to kind of slide away from it. Shoulder blades slide together down the back, lift the sit bones up. And release. Okay. Now take a seat for me. You're going to bring the one leg on the inside of the thigh. So you're going to lift the arm of the leg that's bent. So you lengthen up through the spine, lower it into the body. And hand is sliding down the leg here towards the inner side of the ankle. This hand is flexing over. You're keeping this nice and open. And then breathe. Anchor this hip down. So you feel a stretch in the lower back, lats through the fingertips. Engage the abs, squeeze the glutes, lengthen it up, and then bring it down. Other foot on the inside of the thigh. Lift the arm up, stretch, and then exhale to flex it over, lie down. And then engage the abs, squeeze the glutes, and lift it up, bring it back down. Now onto your stomach for breast strokes. Breast stroke preps, laying onto the front, hands next to the shoulders, elbows down. Nose down, inhale, slide the shoulder blades together, connect the lower abdominal squeeze. Exhale to roll a marble away with the nose, so it's a small movement, and then to send away that breastbone and then bring it back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold, and exhale down. Inhale, connect. Exhale, to send away. Inhale, hold, and exhale to bring it back down. Press away, open the knees, press away, into shell stretch. Now 
walk over to the one side of the mat and lean into the opposite direction. Walk it back to center and then to the other side of the mat and lean into the opposite direction. Bring it back into four point leaning. Bring the arms through here for me. Bring the elbow down, the head down. And your fingers are stretching and reaching in front of you. Here, yeah, arms to the side. Engage the abs, press up. And that's it. And now slide through and reaching away. Head and shoulders down, reach through that fingers. And exhale. From here, we're going to um, bring the hand and the foot. You slide the hand and the foot out, bring it out to the side, bring it forward and bring it down. Slide it away, bring it out to the side, bring it back in and bring it down. Just want to get more space. So slide away, up to the side, bring it back in and down. Slide away, up to the side, back in and down. Slide away, up to the side, back in, down. Slide away, up to the side, back in and down. Last one. That's it. Now you're going to bend the knee for me. Look over your shoulder that the knee is not turned out. It needs to be in alignment with the hip. Now pulse up. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it in and press up. In and up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it down. Now the other side, lift the knee, check it, so the knee's not out to the side, and press up, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten, bring it in, and up, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and bring it down. Put your bum down. You can sit on a cushion if, you're, if your hands are tight or hip flexors here in the hip here in the front. Squeeze the legs together, flex the toes back towards your face. And bring the arms out to the side. Inhale to lengthen and exhale. And exhale. And bring it back to center and bring it back down. Roll that shoulder screen. Okay, now put the feet as wide as the hips. Inhale and exhale to nod the chin, spider crawl the fingers forward, stretch and reach over the toes. Inhale to hold and exhale. Recruit that abdominal, squeeze the Glutes and lengthen up. Inhale and exhale to mouth the chin. Spider crawl the fingers forward onto the sides and stretch. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze the bum, recruit the abdominals and lengthen up. Inhale and exhale to mouth the chin. Spider crawl the fingers forward. Reach. Inhale and exhale. Engage the abs and roll up. And lengthen up. Okay, now from there, half roll back, and your arms are going to be out to the side. So you can, if you want to, put a cushion between the knees or a ball, a soft ball, and have the feet as wide as the knees are. Okay, so you sit off the back of the sit bone, shoulder blades slide together down the back. So you've got a C curved spine, like a C. 
Um, the arms is forward, but now bring them out to the side. So inhale to roll back and exhale to engage the abs. Squeeze bum, knees and feet and hug. And inhale to roll back and exhale, engage. So it's abs, glutes, knees and feet. Inhale and exhale. You can use weights as well if you wanted to. Three more. Engage that shoulder, blades. Last one. Very good. From there, you're going to do a roll up, squeeze the legs together. You can either hold a ball or a ring. Bring it in front of your inhale. And exhale to roll off the back of the sit bones, squeeze the legs. You may bend the knees if you can't straighten them. Inhale to lift, engage the underarm the muscles, squeeze the legs, nod the chin, and roll it up and reach. Inhale to roll off the back of the sit bones, squeeze the legs, and bring it over. Last one. After this, we're going to do leg circles. Okay. That's it. Now put that down to the side. You're going to press the arms into the floor. You can bring one leg onto the floor. If this is not comfortable for you, you can put your foot down, press into the foot. If you're a little bit more advanced or your back is allowing you to do a length of leg, you do that. Straight up, length of leg, point and reach the toe. Same here and squeeze the glute. If you want more challenge, lift the, lift the leg off the floor. Inhale and exhale. Tiny little circles. The hips are absolutely cemented. They are absolutely dead still. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So a strong imprint and abs working here. Eight, nine, and ten. And put the foot down, bend the knee, and switch over. Stretch and reach, squeeze glute. Inhale, exhale, lift, and move the foot over the midline, and exhale back up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other direction. One, two, kneecap. Facing you, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower the leg and lower the other leg. We're going to just do the other direction. On the other leg, squeeze the glute, lift the leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And lower it down and bring the leg down. Okay, from there, we're gonna roll back up. You do rolling like a ball. So we bring the arms overhead, lift it above the shoulders, connect the lower abdominals, squeeze the legs, and roll it up, reach. And then sit up tall. Now scoot forward onto the mat, lift the one foot, lift the other foot. Shoulder blades side together, inhale to roll back and exhale. Inhale and exhale. More. So engage the glutes for abs. And 10. One more for love. And put the feet down. Okay, now just stretch out for me. Look up. Back extension. And relax the body. Forward and inhale to lift and reach open up the shoulders. And just relax the body forward. And sit up nice and straight. Okay, from here, a single leg stretch, hands behind the head, bring the legs up, lengthen the leg, 
You're going to just hold it up there and stretch and reach. So squeeze that legs for me. Bring it as low as you can. Squeeze the glute of the leg that's stretching away. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it in and bring it down. Put the feet down for me. Squeeze the legs together. Then from here, we're going to do obliques. So inhale to Mapuchin, squeeze the knees, exhale to flex forward, inhale, hold, and exhale to rotate to the left side. Inhale to the middle, exhale to the right. Inhale, middle, and exhale down. We build up to four. So now it's two sets. Inhale, exhale, flex forward. And we go one, two, bring it back to center, bring it down. Three, and lift, and one. Two, three, bring it back to center and bring it down. Four sets. Inhale and exhale to lift. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four, bring it back to center, bring it down. Now, three sets. We're going back down. And, and three, two, one, bring it back to center, bring it down. Now two sets, inhale and exhale, flex forward, inhale and exhale, two, one, bring it back to center and bring it down. Last one, inhale and exhale, and inhale, exhale, and bring it in and bring it down. Bring the knees into the chest and just circle the knees clockwise and circle them anti-clockwise. Put the feet down onto the floor. Okay. Now from here, we do lift one leg, then the other leg, so put the uh, ankles across from each other. Um, so inhale, connect the lower abdominals, and then exhale to engage the rest of the abs and lift. Inhale, hold, and exhale down. If you can't lift it that high, so shoulders press down, connect lower abdominals, lower rib cage. You squeeze the legs for me, squeeze the glutes, inhale and exhale. So if you only can lift it there, that's fine. Inhale to hold it and exhale. So you bring it to where you can lift it to, inhale and hold, and then bring it back down. Inhale and exhale to lift, inhale, hold, and exhale down. Inhale, exhale to lift, inhale, hold, and exhale down. Okay, switch over the legs. Inhale, connect lower abdominals, squeeze the legs, and exhale. So connect that lower abdominals and then engage the rest of the abs, squeezing the glutes as you roll up. And hold it there, inhale, exhale. Two more. Squeeze that legs. Last one. Very good. Okay. And then bring it up. Now, if you can do the more advanced one, we can do two of them. And then you'll just do one set of each on just the one exercise we've just done that. And now, if you can't do the advanced one. So just bring the legs over. Then open the legs, tap them down, lift, close the legs. Strong. Exhale, recruiting the abdominals. We bring it forward. Inhale to lift above the hips and then exhale, engage the abs and the glutes, bringing it over. Open the legs, tap it down, lift, close the legs and roll it back down. Bend the knees and bring it down to the floor. Well done. Now lay onto the stomach for me. Okay. So hands onto, head onto your hands, um, feet hip distance apart, and shoulder blades slide together, connect the lower abdominals. Press the left leg down onto the floor, and lift the right leg, and we hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Inhale and exhale to lift the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and bring it down. Now hands opposite. Um, a hand opposite your leg is going to lift, so palms stretch out forward, facing one another. So lift and reach. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it in. Now bring the hands back to the under forehead, slide shoulder blades together, connect. Lift the right leg and pulse for five, four, three, two, and one. And lower it down, press into the floor, lift the other leg and five, four, three, two, and one. And lower it back down. Okay, now from there, open the legs, um, press back into a shell stretch. And then roll up. That's it. Now we're going to do the saw. So the legs is nice and wide. Palms facing forward. Sit up nice and tall. Toes pulled back. Active legs, active glutes. Inhale to rotate. Thumb down at the back. Exhale, head up to the knee. Stretch and reach. Inhale to lift, lift the thumb and bring it back. Inhale to rotate, thumb down, exhale, head down to the knee. Inhale to step the spine, lift the thumb and bring it to the front. Inhale to rotate, exhale. And bring the arms down. Okay, from here. We're going to do the side leg lift series, guys. So lay onto your side that is, or that the weakest leg is on the top. We we'll start with that side. Okay. So lay onto your side. We're going to do press up with the arm. Kneecaps facing forward. Shoulder blades slide together down the back. Rib cage is lifted off the floor. There's a little flame underneath here. Imagine that. Squeeze the legs. Inhale and exhale to lift up. Two, three, four. Squeeze the legs. Five, six. Careful for pulling onto the neck. Eight, nine, ten. And bring it down. Now, if you have a loop band, put it around your ankles. Lift the leg, flex the foot, and bring it down. So remember the bottom leg is nice and actively pressing down into the floor. Kneecaps facing the front. You want on exhale a tightening in the abs. And just squeeze in the legs and the glutes. Now lift and do tiny little circles backwards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold, lift, B two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift, B two, three, four, five, lower and lower. I just get my body right here. Lift, lift. One, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. One, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. One, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. B, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. B, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. B, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift. B, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Last one. 
that's it now from there we're just going to lift that leg bring it a foot back and pulse two three four five six seven eight nine and ten bring it forward and bring it down now bottom leg bent if you have a weight grab the weight hold it in the air get yourself onto your elbow watch for the rib dropping so you want to press away the whole time so and from here you're going to have the hand in the air and then lift up sorry i just want to be completely on the mat and lift four five six seven eight nine and ten and bring it down now lift and lower the top leg so you can keep it there we can bring your body down lift two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and lower it down bring your body down legs tight and overhead and then bring the leg and the arm together you can have a weight in your hand as well press the bottom leg down into the floor <laughs> Let me just grab this. That's it. And four, three, two, and one. Bring it over and bring the hand down. Okay, now we're going to lift the leg. So you're going to lift the leg, bring it forward tap it down lift back tap down so lift forward tap lift back tap lift tap Last one. That's it. Okay, from here, hot potato. So if you have your little band that I threw off, so I'm so uh, with our ceremony. Um, lift, tap the toe down, and lift and tap it at the back. So the, bo the bottom leg is nicely anchored. Your rib cage is lifted. Last two sets, last one. Very good. Now from here, we're gonna flex with the palm down, hand on the side, and we lift up in the banana smile arm and bring it back down. and bring it down okay now from there just grab the foot stretch it back bring the leg in front of the other leg press the knee away shoulder blades out to the down the back roll up to your back bend your knee Press the knee away, anchor those hips. That's it. And now inhale, release and exhale to flex forward, grab the hamstring, put the head down, move the shoulder blades together and down the back, lower rib into the body, and keep that hips nice and square. And then we bring it back down to the floor. Okay, so let's do the other side quickly. Okay, so let's lay onto the side, hook the little band around your ankle so long, and we're going to press up legs together and press up for 10. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Lift the leg, flex the foot, and bring it down. So bottom leg is pressed down into the floor. Engage the abs. Lift, tiny little circles back, kneecaps facing to the front. And forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, keep it there, and lift the lower leg to top leg. One, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift, one, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Lift, lift, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Five, lower and lower. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, lower and lower. Okay. That's it. Last three sets. Lift, lift, B two, three, four, five. Last two, three, four, five. Last one. B two, three, four, five and lower okay now from there lift the leg bring it back and pulse up and away two four five six seven eight nine and ten now bottom knee bend weight in the air and onto that knee for me so push up with the knee three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, and bring it down. Now lift and lower the top leg. Two, three, four. Rib cage lifted. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now lengthen both legs. Hand stretched out, and hand and foot is being brought together. Now you can have a weight into your hand. With this exercise, just make sure that it's not too heavy. Nine and ten. And bring it down. Okay. Now, lift the leg, bring it to the front, tap it down, lift and bring it back. Just gonna kick a ball there. <laughs> lift, forward, down, lift, back, down. Forward, down, lift, back, and down. Two more sets. Last one. Very good. Now, just hook that band around the ankles. Lift, tap down, tap. Four, five, six, seven. Tight legs, eight, nine, and ten. And down. Now, from here, palm down, hand onto the side, and flex up. In a banana smile line. Last one, that's it. From here, grab the foot, pull it back, pull that knee back, balance with the knee, bottom knee. Lengthen the leg, bring this foot in front of it, press the knee away, shoulder blades line together. Roll onto your back. Press the knee away, anchor your hips. Shoulder blades slide together down the back. Woo. Inhale and exhale to flex forward. Grab the hamstring, pull it into your chest. Head down, shoulder blades slide together, lower rib into the body. Oh my goodness, keep that hips nice and square. So tight on this side. <laughs> 
and breathe and lower it back down to the floor. From here, we roll up to the stomach for swan dive. Turn the toes up to the side, kneecaps up to the side, tight weeks. Hands in line with the face off the mat. Nose on the mat, slide the shoulder blades together, connect the lower abdominal. Exhale to send that breast bone away. Straighten the arms and lift it. Inhale, hold and exhale to bring it back down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hold and exhale to bring it down. One more. Bend the feet, lift the head. Bring the knees on in and press the legs down, anchor them and then bring it back down. Press away into a shoulder stretch. And roll it up. Oh, nice stretch on the spine. Feet in the middle of the mat, hand in the line with the hip. Lift, we straighten the legs for a side bend and bring it back and lift. And the last one, you're gonna come over and through, bring it up and bring it down. Okay, other one. Feet in the middle of the mat, hand in line with the hip. Inhale to lift, straighten the legs, flex over, bring it back down. Flex over and bring it back down. Flex over, push it through, lift it up, and bring it down, okay. Now from there, we're just going to sit on knees and we're just gonna drop the bum off the ankles here. Drop the bum off the ankles there. And just to reach back to that ankle, onto the side, flex over. Engage the abs and the glutes, come back up to center. Lift the arm and reach back to the heel and cross over. So the opposite side you're reaching to. Engage the abs and glutes. Come up. Bring it up. We're going to do a roll down. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale. And exhale to knock the chin. Soften the knees and roll it up. Arms and legs together. Breathe in and exhale to roll it up. Now stick shoulder rolls, lift and drop. Thank you very much for joining guys. It's been lovely to have you today and then I'll see you again on our next session. Bye.